In this video, you will learn what star schema is, what are the benefits of using it, what are the best practices in implementing it, and most importantly, what are the common challenges and how to overcome them. A star schema is a type of data modeling technique that simplifies complex data sets into a clear and understandable structure. It is called a star schema because the diagram of the model resembles a star. The central component of the star is the fact table surrounded by dimension tables. The fact table is the heart of the star schema. It holds the numerical data that you want to measure such as sales figures, quantities or other performance metrics. Each record in a fact table typically has keys that links to dimension tables and measures such as sales amount, transaction counts, etc. Dimension tables provide context to the data in the fact table. They contain descriptive attributes like dates, product details, customer information, and geographical data. These tables help break down and filter the fact table data to make analysis more meaningful and insightful. One of the primary advantages of a star schema is its simplicity. By organizing data into fact and dimension tables, you create a clear and understandable structure. This straightforward design helps both analysts and business users quickly grasp the relationships between different data elements. Star schemas are optimized for read-heavy operations which are typical in data analysis scenarios. Because the schema simplifies the database structure, it enhances the performance of the queries, making data retrieval faster and more efficient. This is especially important in Power BI, where quick data processing can significantly enhance the user experience. Maintaining a star schema is easier than more complex database designs. Since the data is organized in a way that reduces the need for complex joins, updating and managing the database becomes more straightforward. With a star schema, creating reports and dashboards in Power BI becomes more intuitive. The clear structure allows you to easily drag and drop fields from dimension tables and aggregate data from the fact table, facilitating the creation of meaningful visualizations. As your data grows, a star schema can scale more effectively than other complex data models. Adding new dimensions or facts can be done without significant restructuring, making it a flexible choice for growing businesses. But like I said before, it's not all rainbows and unicorns. There are some challenges and I'll explain to you how you can overcome them right after the best practices for implementing star schema in Power BI. Begin by identifying the key metrics, facts, that your business need to measure and the dimensions that will provide context to these metrics. Common dimensions could include time, geography, product and custom. Create fact tables that centralize your quantitative data. Ensure that each fact table has a unique key and contains foreign keys that link to the dimension tables. Design dimension tables to hold descriptive data. Each dimension should have a primary key that uniquely identifies each record. Ensure that the dimension tables are detailed enough to provide meaningful context, but not so granular that they become unwieldy. Use appropriate data type for each field to optimize storage and performance. This means using appropriate data time for dates and numeric values. Ensure referential integrity between fact and dimension tables. This means making sure that for every foreign key in the fact table, there is a primary key in the dimension table which helps maintain data consistency. Utilize Power BI's built-in features such as relationships, calculated columns and measures to enhance your star schema. Create relationships between tables using primary and foreign keys and use calculated columns and measures to derive additional insights. While star schema offers many benefits, there are some challenges in its implementation. Since the star schema is denormalized, there can be redundancy in dimension tables. To mitigate this, ensure that the dimension tables are optimized and clean. 
Power BI may sometimes encounter performance issues with many-to-many -many relationships. To address this, you might need to introduce a bridge table or re-evaluate the data model designed to simplify relationships. Some complex calculations might be challenging to perform directly within a star schema. Utilizing DAX in Power BI can help you create advanced calculations without altering the schema. Consider a business that needs to analyze sales performance. Using a star schema, you can create a fact table for sales transactions containing metrics such as sales amount, units sold, and transaction date. Dimension tables could include customer with attributes like customer ID, name and region, product with attributes like product ID, name and cost, and date with attributes like date, month and year. This structure allows you to quickly generate reports on sales performance by region and time period, providing valuable insights for decision making. Choosing the right data model can indeed make or break your Power BI reports. The STAR schema is a robust and versatile solution for beginners and intermediate users. It offers simplicity, improved performance and ease of use. By adopting this model, you can produce more effective and insightful Power BI reports that drive better decision making. To deepen your understanding and ensure that you're using the best practices in data modeling, I highly recommend you watching this video about the Power BI data modeling best practices. Remember, the way you model your data can transform your reports and ultimately the business's success. If you found this video useful, then smash that like button and consider subscribing to the channel. This will help me make more videos like this one and help more and more people. I'm Stelian, signing off. Until next time, cheerio!